let's talk about our new 2020 releases for babies and toddlers, starting with our new cloth book called Crinkle Pets. And this is a really cute book for babies. Um, it's got some really fun aspects like this floppy crinkly dog ear and in the back there's this crinkly fish fin. Some great contrast. This is all about pets. The contrast helps babies to focus on um, on the images and keeps their attention. So those are great for traveling or tummy time, things like that. We've also got this brand new series which I love called I Can Do It and it helps practice these daily skills that they're going to need to learn, like how to fasten a button, how to do a zipper, and in the end, how to tie a shoe. So it gives those instructions and then they can practice tying the shoe there. So that is a fun way to get them um, learning these important skills. We have a brand new Little Lift and Look Under the Sea, which has big flaps you go through with Turtle and you discover little new things along the way. The great thing about flaps for babies and toddlers is it teaches about object permanence, um, which means just because you can't see something doesn't mean that it's disappeared forever. Uh, and if you are concerned about flaps, great news. Usborn Books and More has an amazing lifetime half price replacement policy, which means for the lifetime that you own the book, if it gets ripped, torn, whatever, snap a picture of it, send it to a consultant, and the company will replace the book for half of its cost. So amazing. You don't have to avoid flat books just because you're concerned about that. Little Turtle swims past a sea snake and sees lots of long wavy arms. Who do they belong to? A big octopus. So lots of bright and fun colors in that. Now, if you're familiar with Alfie and Bet's ABC, that is my favorite ABC book ever. It's pop-out, pop-ups. Um, it's got gorgeous illustrations, a silly story. Um, so I love that one. Well, this is the sequel to that, Dottie and Dash is one, two, three. Dottie and Dash are arguing about which number is the best. And it goes through and it counts up to number 10 to, um, after that, it starts counting by tens until you get to 100. So this is a great counting book that includes a fun rhyming story as well. Now in our That's Not My series, we have a brand new That's Not My Sloth. Any sloth lovers out there? So I love this series for babies and toddlers. Um, my kids loved it my, till they were, well, my oldest is four, almost five. He still likes them. So these are definitely always my go-to for recommendations for babies and toddlers, but it incorporates touchy-feely aspects. There's a little mice mouse to find on every page, which is fun. Great contrasting lines to help babies focus on the page. So that's not my sloth, his head is too fuzzy. That's not my sloth, its nose is too rough. Super cute. We've also got a brand new peek inside book called Bug Homes, and it's all about bugs and their homes. Bugs live everywhere. Peek into this meadow and see who you can find. Someone sleeping inside the flower. It's a shiny flower beetle. Who's hiding in this bubbly home? A baby spittle bug. It makes bubbles with its bottom. Who carries a house on its back? A snail. So this is a great one if you've got a bug lover at home. Now we have a brand new series about Lenny. We've got Lenny and Wilbur, and where's Lenny? Lenny and Wilbur is this, is about um, the friendship between this little boy and his dog, and it's about how to take care of your pet. And Lenny is giving Wilbur a bath in this story. Best friends have fun together. It's Wilbur's bath day today. Ask him to sit, mommy says. Sit, says Lenny, and Wilbur sits. And it goes through and it talks about the process of giving him a bath, feeding him, brushing him, all the important things to do with owning a dog. And Where's Lenny is a cute story about Lenny and his dad playing hide and seek. And um, Lenny's dad is looking for him throughout the story. So that is a cute story about the love between a father and a son. We've also got this brand new series the apple of my pie and you complete me. So these are great books for um, talking about pears. And it's also a sweet, they're sweet about, in the regards to it's talking about love, like our love for our child. So I'll show you the apple of my pie. This is one my youngest likes. You are the apple of my pie. And then there's peek throughs there that fit. Slice to meet you. 
you're the bun for me. We make the perfect combo. So these are bright and fun um, and toddlers definitely enjoy those. And last but not least, we've got the Usborne Big Book of Nursery Rhymes. So nursery rhymes and singing are so important for babies and toddlers. And these pages are nice and thick and colorful. I love the text in here, um, the font of it. It's kind of fun. Some bright colors and great illustrations. These are all nursery rhymes that we know. Old King Cole, Jack and Jill, Little Bo Peep, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So these are fun and your kids are surely going to enjoy that. So that's all I have to show you for babies and toddlers. Let me know which one you think your baby or toddler would enjoy in the comments below. Bye.